Welcome to PreMath. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you the easiest possible way to find the factors of these quadratic expression and how to do them fast. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. And here is our very first example. As we can see that this quadratic expression is indeed in a standard form. In the next step, we are going to multiply these two end numbers so we're going to create a rainbow. 3 times 5 is 15. I am going to write down positive 15. And in the next step, we are going to find the factors of 15 that is going to yield us negative 8. So the possible factor is going to be negative 3 and negative 5. As you can see, if you multiply these two factors, we're going to get positive 15. And if you add these two factors, we can get negative 8. And in our next step, we are going to look at this leading coefficient which is 3. So whatever numbers we got we're going to divide them by this leading coefficient 3. So if we simplify them that's going to give us negative 1 and here this is negative 5 over 3. So we got these numbers negative 1 and negative 5 over 3. And now finally we want to find the factors of this quadratic expression. So we are going to put down these two parentheses like this way. And our variable is x. So I'm going to put down x right up here and x over here. The first number is negative 1. So I'm going to go ahead and put down negative 1 in the first parentheses and negative 5 over 3 in the second parentheses. And as you can see, we have a fraction. This number 3 at the bottom, if you want to move it to the front over here before x. So this is going to simply become x minus 1 times 3x minus 5. So thus our factors turns out to be x minus 1 times 3x minus 5. Piece of cake. And let's go ahead and recap our all the steps we did so far. The very first step was just multiply the end numbers. So we created a rainbow. Then whatever number we got, we factored it out. And final step was divide these numbers by the leading coefficient. And here is our next example and you can see that this is in a standard form. So the very first step is we are going to create a rainbow by just simply multiplying these two end numbers. 4 times negative 5 is going to give us negative 20. And now we want to find the factors of negative 20 that is going to yield us positive 19 and the possible factors is going to be negative 1 and positive 20. As you can see, if you multiply these two numbers, we're going to get negative 20. And if you add them, we're going to get positive 19. And in our final step, we are going to look at this leading coefficient, which is 4. So we're going to divide these numbers by 4. So once we simplify, this is going to be a negative 1 over 4. And this number is going to become positive 5. So we got these numbers, negative 1 over 4 and positive 5. And in the final step, we are going to find the factors. So to find the factors, I'm going to put down two parentheses. And I'm going to put down x variable at, over here and x variable. And as you know that this, we got these numbers. First one is negative 1 over 4. I am going to put down 
negative 1 over 4 right in the first parentheses and the other number is positive 5 I am going to put down in the second parentheses and our final step is see we we have a one this number fraction this number 4 is at the denominator we are going to move this number to the front so this is simply is going to become 4x minus 1 times x plus 5 so our, our factors turns out to be a 4x minus 1 times x plus 5. And here is our last example and you can see that this quadratic expression is in a standard form. So the very first step is we are going to create a rainbow by just simply multiplying these two end numbers. 15 times 20 when you multiply this thing that is going to give us 300 and 60 and in the next step we are going to factor out 360 in order to get this positive 38 and the possible factors are positive 18 and positive 20 and in our last step we are going to look at this leading coefficient which is 15 we are going to divide these number by this leading coefficient which is 15 so let's reduce these terms so if you reduce this one that is going to give us positive 6 over 5 and this is going to give us positive 4 over 3 so we got these two numbers and finally we're going to find the factors the factors we're going to put down two parentheses right up here like this one and we're going to put down x variable over here and x variable over here and we figured out our numbers are first one is plus six over five is going to be here and the other number is positive 4 over 3. Now let's focus on our denominators over here on this fraction. So this 5, we're going to drag it to the front of this x. And this 3 is going to move to the front of x. So our complete factor is going to become 5x plus 6 times 3x plus 4. So thus our factors turns out to be a 5x plus 6 times 3x plus 4. And here is your assignment. Can you do this one on your own? You can take your time. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.